What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. Today, we are going to be fishing some backwater streams. The river's really high. It's early spring right now, so there's a lot of water coming down from the mountains. So uh, the main river uh, in this area is pretty high and pretty flooded. So I'm gonna be fishing some back creeks like what you see behind me uh, for some trout. So we can do up a nice little catch and cook today. I've got a really, really interesting recipe I'm excited to share with you guys. So let's get fishing. So what I'm using today is just actually just a spot of worm here. I'm using a whole one. These are little red tiger worms and I'm just threading them through twice and trying to make it really dangly like that. So it's really uh, enticing to the trout, hopefully. Got him. Look at that. Yes! There we go. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. Check that out. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful trout right there. We'll have to go see if he's 12 inches though. He's gonna be close. All right guys, check it out. She is right at 12 inches actually. Oh, still spunky. Not too bad for my first spot. Rolled up right here. I was actually going for those uh, those golden trout down there, but I got a nice little uh, little rainbow here. This is gonna be good eating. We're gonna be able to cook one up today, but she's just a about a quarter inch over 12 inches. So that's awesome. Not bad for our first spot. Oh, look at this. It's a real monster of the deep, guys. Wow, okay, he might get thrown back. Well, there you go, there's no if, ands, or buts, there he goes. Oh, oh my gosh, I got a tiny one. There you go. Oh yeah, there's an eater. That's called sturgeon food, or catfish food right there. <laughs> we'll toss him back. All right, so the fish has been pretty slow. I caught the three. Fortunately, one of them was big enough to keep, so I'm getting hungry. We're gonna go set up camp, and uh, I will show you how we're gonna be cooking this trout today. All right, so we're gonna be poaching our trout again today. I've got my little setup with the propane tank. This is how we're gonna flavor the water for this one. So we'll start off with the base, which is just gonna be water. Next, we're gonna add a little white wine. About a cup and a half of it. Now we'll put the lid on and we'll let that warm up. So we're not done flavoring our water yet. We're also gonna add a little bit of lemon, fresh lemon. Also chop up some onion. There we go. Also throw in a few garlic cloves as well. All right, that's warming up nicely. Let's go ahead and toss our ingredients in there. I've crushed my garlic cloves. There we go. Squeeze a little more lemon in there. Perfect. So this is what that grate's used for. We'll just slide him right in over top of everything. Perfect. We're gonna let that all warm up and let all those juices mix together. Now for my side dish, I'm gonna just cut up some green beans and cook them in a lemon butter sauce. Should be really good. First we'll cut all the tips off. All right, let's check out how this is going. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. See all that steam coming off of it? Once again, I don't want it to bring it to a boil. In fact, I'm gonna turn the, turn the heat down a little bit because I can see it starting to bubble just a little bit, but oh, that smells really good. It's time to put our trout in there. Here we go. Looking really good. 
that's all been simmering for about 20 minutes now so it is time to just go ahead and sink a nice bit of trout in there look at that now we'll cook that for about probably 15 minutes so kind of as a final little splash of flavor i'm going to grind up a little himalayan pink rock salt and a little organic whole black pepper All right, so check that out. That'll just go right over our top of everything. Probably sprinkle a little bit on the fish, a little bit over our green beans, and that'll be a nice little way to top off the rest of that flavoring. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit, flip the fish. It's been about five to seven minutes on one side. It's looking really nice. That is almost done. Oh, that smells super good too. I'm excited to give this a try. So we got our butter melting right there. We're also going to squeeze a little lemon juice in there as well. Add a little extra flavor. Go ahead and throw our green beans in there as well. Let those cook up in there. And a little bit of that salt and pepper that we ground up. Now for those of you at home who are thinking, good grief, that is a lot of butter. Yeah, it is. But remember, I'm gonna kinda just pour this whole mixture right over my fish. So that's how that's gonna go down. This is smelling really good. I'm getting really hungry. This is just about done. All right, here comes our trout first off. Oh, flaking off a little bit, that's cooked through. That meat's coming right off the bone there and that smells really delicious. You can smell that white wine in there pretty strong along with the uh, garlic and lemon. All right, next are green beans. We'll just put those off to the side. Perfect, just like so. Finish it off with a little bit of our salt and pepper on everything. Perfect. So I'm garnishing that fish with just a little bit of parsley, slice of lemon, Guys, we're ready to eat. Let's give it a try. All right, look at that. Ooh. Oh, smells delicious. Let's give it a try here. Bump, ba ba da. Look at that. That whole rib cage, skeleton body just lifts right out. The maiden voyage, the maiden piece of meat. Get some green beans in there. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, it blows me away how well that that meat picks up that flavoring of the water. That fish is perfectly cooked, and then you go in for this green bean action. I mean, look at that, dripping with butter. Mmm, they're still cooked but they still got crunch to them. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. Look at that piece of meat right there. Mm. I would always add a little dash of salt and a little bit of pepper to everything. But, I mean, butter makes everything better, so I just add it to everything. But you don't need it. If you want super, super fresh fish, you know, you don't want to do like high calories or, you know, all that kind of stuff. Then obviously don't add the amount of butter that I add. The fishing wasn't as good as I was hoping. I lost a pretty nice golden trout. But if this is the consolation prize, the man, I can dig it. I can dig it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got more coming. Bunch of more crazy recipes coming that I'm going to be cooking up with fish. Catfishing's getting ready to heat up and right around the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.